Alright, welcome everyone to today's first game. Uh, we're facing off against One Wars Esports. Uh, very fancy name. Um, and we're starting off with a TVT on the a bit older map, New Kirk Precinct. Uh, it's gonna be interesting here to see what this will bring us. Um, since I think TVT is one of my very stronger matchups, if I remember correctly. I might be completely wrong, but <laughs> we'll have to see, I guess. Um, for first game, I will be solo casting, but hopefully, we can get someone else in here to higher entertainment value for uh, the coming ones. <laughs> see if someone joins me, I've reached out a few. But we'll see. But yeah, let's get started here. Um, Opening. Uh, good luck, have fun here. Uh, always nice to see. Um, but yeah, here in the bottom right, we got Mr. Masseter representing us in the Arnold Warfare. Hype, hype, hype. Um, and also got in the bottom left corner, Mr. Widen representing Wild Wars Esports. So yeah, um, both players. Uh, she seems to open with <laughs> their supply depot. <laughs> this is a mirror matchup here. It's very common to just have those uh, similar builds to open up with, usually in TVT, since there's like quite few deviations you can do to actually be safe against most early uh, aggressions. So we'll probably see pretty similar builds. But we see an earlier gas here from Masseter than his opponent Vidim, so that might indicate that we got some aggression coming from Masseter, while Vidim might uh, want to see it back a bit. But we'll see uh -huh, if a second gas comes down for Vidim as well. Uh, so this V is out scouting here uh, to see if there's any shenanigans against going on from Masseter. And we'll probably be able to scout those two gases since uh, Masseter is not walling off. But in TVT it's actually a good thing uh, often to not fall off since uh, you don't want to be, get a if your opponent get a siege position on your ramp you don't want to lose your supply depots and the barracks uh, to that basically so it's actually a good thing uh, to not be walling off in this case scenario. Um, but yeah, um, away from that. Um, yeah, pretty greedy opening here from Vedem, taking that CC before factory. That's really greedy in TVT, I would say. Like, uh, he really gotta be on the watch here uh, for Masseter's aggression that will most likely come. But if he can hold on against it, he will be ahead. So we'll hopefully see Masseter commit to that aggression and do some damage. But yeah. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, and for those of you guys that might not be familiar to the Alpha League, uh, it's basically a summer league that, um, like, you play a best of five against another um, clan each week, basically. So we have like uh, two matches each week because one is for the Diamond Squad and one is for Master Squad. Um, yeah, uh, this is the first match uh, in this week's for the Diamond Squad. Um, but yeah, some Reaper action going on here. A Masseter. Oh no, he missed targeted actually. Uh, so he took some free damage on the Reaper there. Um, oh, maybe he can snipe the Reaper. Oh, so close. But yeah, the Cyclone is gonna come in here, uh, which is gonna actually be able to deny this. Uh, expansion, I think, from at least starting to separate. Um, oh, don't lose the Reaper! But yeah, still, this is starting to spiral a bit out of control, actually. And this is what I'm saying, like, if you go that greedy, uh, it's hard to uh, actually make this work. Um, so yeah, uh, some good early aggression here from uh, or aggression, I mean, not aggression, or whatever I said, uh, from Matador. Oh, he even got the uh, SCVs there. That's great. Just plenty of damage going on here. 
and Masseter at home is on 30 SCVs, uh, getting that production up. Even got a Banshee on the way, and right now there is no detection, so we'll see. Maybe a turret comes down or we did an engineering bay, but that's not something that's guaranteed. Especially since all this early aggression often can throw opponent off, so yeah, we'll have to see. Um, and the, uh, CC is a bit uh, later for Masseter here, but um, once it's done, he's gonna be able to actually use all those workers and saturate on the second base, uh, while his opponent just got his second up. And note there is no turret started yet, and the manager is already on the way up over here on the map. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, it's the cloak. Cloak is almost done here, so it will take some initial damage here from the Viking. But once the cloak is actually up, uh, he will be able to rain free. Uh, so, oh, just make it survive, make it survive! Did you get cloak? You got cloak, man! Go in! Oh, that's nice. Oh, right, there was a scan up. So that's a shame, actually, because that could have done a lot of damage otherwise. Um, oh, free with a man hit there. Um, and now he's gonna engage two cyclones here, so he, he needs to actually just back off. Oh, back off! Oh! That was some free damage he didn't need to take, but it's fine. Uh, no, no need to panic yet. <laughs> Even if I started a bit panic, I assume. <laughs> but yeah, this is a bit like TBT for you guys. Like, you can lose uh, units and get back into the game, basically. Like, the supply isn't as important in the, oh no is he actually gonna do a push out with it massa doesn't have anything at home right now uh so this is actually gonna be terrible it's gonna lose the cyclone as well um uh i'm not sure i think master will just end up losing to this if he goes in directly here and even like if he would get the bunker up like he has just been slacking on the production, um, so I don't know, yeah. Let's see people here. Um, we should lift. Oh, there was a banshee, yeah, that, that's, that's good then. I was a bit afraid otherwise. Um, but now he should be able to snipe that down. Um, with the siege tank here as well. Yeah, he, he, he will be able to clean this up, even if it took a lot of damage to it. Um, so that's good. And yeah, that Banshee really turned the fight around, otherwise I would have been really worried. Um, but now he can start to saturate his uh, second again. His opponent does have a bit more production than uh, Masseter, but Masseter's stim is done, I believe. No, never mind. It's actually not, I think. Uh, it did control... Oh, what is it? Is it control A? No. <laughs> I will have to bring up the interface here. Upgrades G was upgrades. Okay, so he actually doesn't have Steam yet, which is gonna actually be a big deal. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see how um, Master deals with uh, the coming part of the game because like not having a steam against the marines uh, is gonna be a big deal and he's also down in supply compared to his opponent uh, in army so this might this is a mi bit uh, misjudging though because um, army in TVT isn't as important since the siege tanks does a lot in the fight so like if you have a good position uh, compared to opponent with siege tank, uh, it might not matter in them. But his opponent actually is on uh, a first CC already, while Masseter hasn't started his own. So that's actually a big deal. As well as Masseter just started 2 1, uh, while his opponent has 1 1 already. Uh, and he's starting his 2 2. So. Yeah, even if he was ahead economically there for a while, uh, he's starting to fall behind now. So, hopefully, he can still hold on here. Uh, the stim for Masseter is starting to complete. It's not yet here, but it will be soon. 
but that might be too late because he's got a drum drop in his face now. Um, and he's gonna go into the natural at the same time. But that's gonna get denied by the sea shank though. Master, they just wait. Oh no, his steam got cancelled. Oh no. Oh, that's such a big deal. Oh, that's terrible with the master. Yeah, he's gonna be able to snipe out tank here at least, but uh, like he lost so much to that attack and like most importantly the stim again. So like <laughs> all fights he takes now needs to be like in siege tank range uh, to like be able to trade even closely to efficiently. So he, he just needs to pr uh, play the um, like really slow and patient uh, game here. Because like even if uh, supply isn't that far apart, uh, this is like a really big deal uh, in PvP, and there is no combat shield as well either. So that's a big deal as well. Uh, that there is no combat shield for his opponent either. So I guess he got that going for him. Um, but yeah, um, Master Ryo is starting his plus two armor as well. Um, so that's something that is for unknown as well. Uh, I don't know, there was a scan in this part, so maybe Master did like put the mine off or something? I'm not sure. Um, mm, there is a scan in the main there. Uh, let's see if that forces a reaction from Master. Did they not? Uh, because that can be something that's scary uh, if you um, get the doom drop coming into your main uh, without being close by with your army. He does have like good setup of turrets here though, uh, so like if a doom drop would be attempted, it would be hard to get him if he just don't go like slicking to this corner down here and uh, going in that way, then it, it might work. Um, this is actually a bit of a shame that he doesn't have a turret over here that the engineer made to so really close it off. Um, Was the key. Okay, um, 100% sure. <laughs> Let's see, upgrade. No, he does. He hasn't. He hasn't even realized that Slim has gotten cancelled for him. I think because he's not restarted. Oh no, he restarted it, but it took some time to do that. Uh, and like, since he moved out now without Slim, uh, he can't really defend at home properly. Because he needs the steam marines to fight steam marines, but he can't because there, uh, there's no steam base left. Um, so this counter aggression from his opponent is actually gonna do a ton probably. Yeah, so cancelling the third here, uh, or well, if we're not cancelling, it's really much destroying it. Um, but yeah, uh, this position. Uh, it's actually not that good for Master since he's slowly getting pushed up on there. Um, and the, oh no no no! Oh, that's GG, guys. Yeah, that that was too much fun. It was just like some small mistakes uh, that led up to like really really big advantages for opponent here. Uh, um, which just uh, had him far behind due to that. So yeah, but GG well played. Uh, and we'll try to come back in the coming matches. Uh, and I have gotten word that I got a co-cast joining me here. So we'll be uh, another one uh, casting uh, after the short break we're going to set up uh, to the next game. Alright, uh, we'll see you in just a bit.
gonna be enough. He's killing everything. Look at this. Oh no! 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 What are you doing? No! No! Don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! No! Killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 what are you doing? No, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. No. Until his freedom's been taken away, I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my God! All is doing this. All is doing this. Back live now. Uh, just updating the score here. Uh, oh, wrong. There we are. Um, all right. Um, do you guys want to take the introductions away? Oh, did I can go first? All right. On the top left, playing with the Protoss pieces, representing Team WBO is Stikai. Hi, hi, okay. And to the bottom right, the far superior player in every way. The Tors, Nee, Nee, Neon, <laughs> with two E's. And we've lost someone. Yep, uh, I think that is their caster. Yeah. Someone tried to. Uh, oh, thank God it's not players. me. I thought it was me. <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> I was also thinking, like, is it either this time or is it someone else? <laughs> It's so good when it's not me. <laughs> so tell me, did I? What do you think about this matchup? Um. TVP is actually used to be before the before the update. It was pretty Terran heavy. 
fair mm -hmm. and favored. Uh, so, well, in the pro scene anyway. But nowadays, Protoss can't seem to lose a game against the Terran, as you saw. Well, anyway, well, for a, from what I've been watching so far. Yeah. I love this matchup too, as well, in the pro Protoss uh, Terran game. You can see different tactics from both sides. Yeah. Uh, oh, especially yeah. from Protoss. They've got so much tech to go up against the Terran, they can go Colossus, or they can go Storm, or they can go Adept Phoenix, there's so many. Yeah. 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 And obviously believe. how Dance, Dance, yeah, <laughs> Dance will show us that Zealot Archon, uh, Zealot Archon <laughs> works as well against the Terran. I think, <laughs> it works uh, pretty well. Dream has showed us how good it was, I do believe. Even I took a game at Ofrace Pro Road. Uh, with Zelda Arco. <laughs> then you know how broken the style is. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, Zelda Arco, like, late game, he's really strong uh, with Storm, that is. Um, young Storm. It's just yeah. really hard to, like, get those ghost DMPs. Uh, just, like, you want them at the, at the same time as you're dodging the tunnel. So it's all crazy yeah. lot. It takes a lot of <laughs> time Ghosts are always so expensive as well, they're now 200 minerals instead of 200 gas, but they cost yeah. so much. Yeah. And Terran just That's has so true. much wasted gas, they have like 2k in the bank by 10 minutes. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, unless if you're going mech, you're always packing this gas, you know? Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that much mech versus Protoss though. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, is it viable well, that will you that? I tried I've had no success, up. unfortunately, <laughs> with Mac against Protoss. A shame. I'm shame. sorry to report. <laughs> oh, a whiffed overcharge. <laughs> That's very good for Neon. Yeah. Got a life of the Reaper, use an overcharge. Indeed. And uh, since he looks like he's going for some sort of aggression with his 1 1 1 opening, that will be even better. Or not, he's building two barracks. Yep. Uh, Adept out here uh, will be able to trade versus this two Marines if he wants to. Yeah. Um, Interestingly, uh, Protoss went for the Robo opening instead of the Stargate. Mm. We, we, we see, uh, could we see some sort of aggression early on? I think uh, Robo is just an extremely defensive play. If you open Robo, you can take a third base almost, almost instantly. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You need it first with the Wooden Mines to really shut them down. Although, yeah. four gateways. Yeah. Oh. Is it that you old school builds? immortal? Uh, push or something, or maybe just a war prism into gateways. Game paused. Okay. Now someone's uh, coming up. Yeah, someone's trying to DDoS him now. After they DDoS <laughs> the wrong person. In their Every one time by there's one. something, <laughs> Every time something lags, my heart sounds like no, not internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sitting on a time bomb or something. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and praying every time. Yeah. I feel like uh, Neon didn't quite do his build correctly because he opened up the fast factory, but he didn't actually do anything with it. He's now building Widow Mines to it at a time, but he can't really do much with that. On yeah, true. Exactly, uh, because he doesn't actually have a war or a Stargate yet. Or Star Port, it's I, called a Stargate. I don't know if he. I don't know if he thinks there's a, some sort of a Stargate play here, but I'm not sure because he scouted really well there. Yeah. And uh, Widow Mines usually, I love to see my Widow Mines in the mineral line to protect myself. It's the, the Robo's at the top, isn't it, of the base? He wouldn't have scouted the Robo. Let's check. Um, no, he didn't scout the Robo. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So he are probably, uh, th I think he's probably thinking that it's a Stargate play. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So he does with those Widow Mines. Oh, no. Yeah, he's going to his mineral line, one of the Widow Mines. I'm sure. Yeah. Of course. So... I would actually like him to actually borrow it at the refinery uh, instead of in yeah. the middle, so it actually doesn't show. Because now he can just go in with Oracle, see the winner mine, uh, and just go out, not buy into it. People are, getting, uh, people are getting really tricky. Oh, look, there's a Reaper in the main base, scouting. Oh. Very close player. Oh, there's another overcharge. Did he yeah. see that Robo? Oh no, no. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so close. Wow, that's a beyond like micro I did, there. I did, I did. He just wanted to tease a bit of stream. <laughs> well, uh, he did scout the gateways, so I don't know if he'll react to that, because four gateways perhaps might not be that uncommon, but it is more than you usually have. Yeah. 
I didn't see the robotics facility being made either, or robotics bay, whatever it's called. Whatever way around it is. Yeah, fine. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, Neon's being very defensive in this game. It looks like now he's yeah, liberated yeah. one at a time. But he, he's being very uh, good with the Reaper though, like getting a lot of information yeah. with it, not losing it, uh, bailing out those overcharges. So yeah. There used to be a general rule at the start of Legacy of the Void. It's if the Terran is allowed to tech up with his units and build these liberators and tanks one at a time, he will win the game eventually. Because of two base right. versus two base, the Terran will have more efficient units against enemy stalkers. And now he's going into level forward, yeah. which is not going to help him very much. Yeah, come on. And thank you and Ferris for this, for your follow. Always appreciate it. Two? Um, yeah. Two probes for one liberator. That's not a good trade. No, no it's not. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to see. There's a widow might drop coming out into the main. Oh, where? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dreamers found it? Yep, yeah, I found it. Dreamers found <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't in the main yet, so I was a bit panicked that I missed it or something. Uh... I mean, in a in a real game, this shouldn't really do much. Like, he's even going to fly over the photon overcharge if he's looking. Yeah. He needs to pay attention. He needs to pay attention. Oh, oh, drops right wait, on it as well. Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> right to Run! Oh, there's no chance. Is that? There's two of them. But like, oh, they're that, not even in range. No. Oh. Oh wait. Oh, oh that oh, could have been so brilliant. Oh, 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 that would have been painful. That should wow. have been painful. Oh, what is this Colossus doing? Oh no. Oh, the, that was not up, uh, very efficient. Couple of I mean, uh, that was not. Like I was saying, but these drops the Colossus, aren't really meant to good. do damage, are they? No, he's not, so like, it's, it's like, still he hasn't taken a third bedist yet, I'm just like, yeah. amazed. Um, a lot of production coming out here from Neon, extra production, the barracks is coming out, got the reactor for the starport now as well. Um, but yeah. It's a, it's a bit unfortunate for Neon, he should have built two uh, medevacs instead of the two vikings because he can't move across the map now, even though Stim's now finished because he doesn't have anything to heal his units. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But if you're going Stalker Colossus, you're very vulnerable at this stage of the game, especially before Thermal Lance is finished and Blink is finished. Yeah, so... It's a really good opportunity to attack him. Indeed. That's often the problem though with turns in general, that uh, we tend to stay back too much. Uh, like, uh, let, people, uh, let, let both Zerg and Protoss get up to that tech they yeah. want to. Especially the, uh, yeah. And, yeah. and look at that, he's got six barracks and five of them got tech vibes on them. Oh. Very good against Stalkers, at the very least. And Colossus. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. He's uh, yeah, building the rings out of them, so I think it's just a bit, ready. yeah. Oh, he's realized. Like, it's only plus one up. armor on the way for him. But uh, yeah, Neon's going to be doing well in this game, because if it's 3 base versus 3 base, the Terran is winning, because he's supposed to be behind in bases in yeah. the So. And the upgrades are even, which is good for him as well, and he's ahead in supply at the moment, even though they're spending their money quite well. So yeah. it's looking uh, pretty good for our Terran player, I think. Yeah, it's going to I would like to see a few more medevacs coming out though than he is actually producing, because uh, otherwise he won't be able to uh, heal up the army and so on when he starts yeah. fighting. For some reason, there's still no aggression from the Protoss. There is no. Uh, what is it, what's it called? There's no War Prism play. For coming from him. No. I would just love to see something like that and at it's least the, harass. At least harass. It's the same theory with Terran though. If your opponent hasn't moved out of their base, you don't deserve to do damage. You only do damage if they made a mistake. Because uh, if their army's at That's home, true. there shouldn't be any chance of taking any damage and both of them are staying back at the moment. So no one should really damage each other at all unless they're messing up. Yes, I guess we're going to sit here for 10 minutes yeah. until we wait for him to max out. This is great fun. He's building Hellbats now, look at oh, this, it's like Heart of the Swarm. Yeah. Do you remember back is in the old days when uh, people went Hellbat uh, yeah, Marauder only? Yeah, that was interesting. interesting Before they patched guys. it. Yeah. 
in the air, like but, uh, first or well, I dropped going to each base now, basically. Um, yeah. Some battling I for the watchtowers. We're gonna see if it does any damage, but since the army's at home, it shouldn't really do much. But he does have control of the watchtowers, so we won't see it coming at the very least. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's gonna be a split drop though, uh, so that might like take some the attention third might away. Do well. Oh. Yeah, this is a problem though. lost mining time there. Yeah. He's denying the fourth. Or he should have just picked up when he started to see the army coming there. But he's gonna snipe the fourth, which is really good. Um, yeah, very good. But he's overcommitting right now. He doesn't need to like lose his army. Like he could have just come back and saved that and yeah. then gone him at a later time. He is maxed out though, so he does can afford to lose his units, but he is only replacing them with more marauders, so he's not actually like replacing them with liberators, which you would do at this stage of the game to have yeah, a more efficient army. Yeah, might, uh, it might be a reaction scary. though to the heavy circle play he's seeing yeah. uh, that he doesn't want to go for a liberator through to that. There's gonna be a fight here. And yeah, uh let's he's stim, out of position a little bit. Stim. Oh stim is there. But he's losing the Vikings. Yeah, Vikings are not in a good position. That blink is way too ambitious. He's going to lose a lot yeah, of stalkers yeah, at three. Cool. Jess, I think he could have done a lot That's more damage to Oh, he blinked again. Yeah, He's going to kill a few more stalkers. If the stalkers go, the Colossus will die instantly. They only have the same health as two stalkers. Yeah, this was a really good trade for Neon, actually. Uh, so and there's really no there. There's no reinforcements for the Protoss, so he can't reinforce this army. Yeah. True, true. There is no reinforcements for the Terran oh, either, though. Uh, not one. yet. Oh, he did no get the Colossus, though. so... Yeah, he, be, well, he will these, be uh... able to stay alive here. Uh, like, yes. Yeah. These Vikings do double damage now to Stalkers. Yeah. The patch. He, we'll see if he lands them. He lands them. them. He pulls the SVs. Putting That's the boys. Um, he needs to land them. Well, he needs to land them. I oh, think. the widow mine there could have done a lot uh, if it went off. But yeah, Cellos come in. Does he actually have charge for them? Uh, I didn't see if he actually researched that or not. I don't think he did. Uh, I can check the upgrades. Yeah, he does have it. Okay, he did. All right. Yeah, there is uh, charge. There is charge. But really this is the power point. of a uh, Protoss in the late game versus Terran. It was the same in Heart of the Swarm. You can remax a lot faster when you're on four bases. Or he was going to be on four bases before he got sniped. Yeah. So uh, he's racking up in supply a lot faster now after Terran traded with him. And yeah, this 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 army for the Protoss is good in small numbers, but it stacks very badly when it maxes out. So if he attacks yeah, now, yeah. it will do a lot better for him than if he waits. And the longer he waits, the more Neon is going to be better. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I think he could have just straight up killed Neon there if he actually committed to it. But since he didn't, uh, like now he's instead uh, further behind. He does have Orkham with the composition now, though, uh, which is gonna help a lot. He's turning around? Yeah, yeah it I looks guess like he's it. a bit scared, but that's gonna be favoring our town player. That's, that's a lot good of for us. Um, a free free is on the way, uh, plus three attack. Yeah, it's just gonna finish up here for turn player, and he got plus three armor on the way as well. Um, one of the one of the debates that's going on at the moment is whether to build Vikings against Stalker Colossus or just build more and more Liberators. Because you're supposed to be building Liberators at this stage of the game, which do well against Colossus because they outrange them. But yeah. he's opting for Vikings here, and the Vikings did not do good for him last fight as they got caught in the middle and the Stalkers oh. picked them off. Yeah, indeed. The Neon is racking up in supply again, so he can send two more drops out and he can replace these units if they die instantly. Yeah. So. But uh, there's not a lot of sophistication to Neon's army, and uh, no. Sikia now has Storm. Indeed, and that's and the longer always this goes, the problem be better. when you're Terran, like, and you're not transitioning into Ghosts. Uh, those storms are gonna be, like, terrible against your army. These drops are gonna do well, though. Both of them are in good positions, and the army's yeah. in the middle of the map. So let's go in there, get some probes. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Well. Okay, I'm gonna do that. But Come yeah, on, go the to the fourth base, uh, like, it's gonna be uh, ransacked in the meantime. Uh, so, yes, these really drops good. did, like, great damage. Very uh, good damage. You can see, like, Please. 33. 33 probes Game went down. Paused. Okay, I'll uh, get a pause here.
His keyboard but is. My keyboard. If his keyboard is messing up, how can he then <laughs> pass a right to us? How can he A move his zealot streamers if his keyboard yeah, isn't working? He'd have to click it on the unit icon. And even then he might win. Yeah, I don't know. Like... <laughs> Um, but the problem with this is uh, Neon isn't really transitioning into anything. He's only just started Ghosts now. So this is good yeah. damage, but the army is still unkillable. If the oh. Protoss just A moved across the map, he'd still win at this point of the yeah. game. So I think Neon really take, got... need to take the, uh, what is it called? Take the initiative here uh, to trade out on the Protoss side of the map. Because if it doesn't, yeah. then he trades on his side of the map, he won't be able to remax. Uh, uh... Yeah, what he's doing is really good. Look, he's maxed out. He's going to lose these units and do a lot of damage in the process yeah. to keep him back. And then he's no. still not defending the third base. But... But... It's probably a shift issue. Try alt tabbing if someone's a record <coughs> to tell him. Like if you alt tab, you can't can't select stuff or something sometimes. <laughs> Rip. What do you uh did uh what do you think about uh Ghosts versus Liberators, while well, Dreamers is met, sorting this out. I think in this it's in this kind of late game, it's a 15th minute mark here. I think you need both. The Ghosts mm -hmm. will go in EMP, and uh, obviously the Protoss army will lose all its shields. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, lose all its shields, and uh, he should have, as you said, you were right, he should have already started the production. He already has a double starport. He should have started production of... Uh, Liberate us sooner. Yeah. For my liking, maybe five minutes too late, I think. Right, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm... Maybe he has a game plan. Maybe there's a method to his madness right here. We'll see. So he takes out the th takes out the third and no, he still he can't select select. He's selecting his stuff. Yeah, that's why I said try alt tabbing. I'm not sure what he's... I think he's just... I don't know. He's selecting his stuff in his hotkeys. I can see him because I'm looking at him. Alright, well, so we're, we're going to resume from replay. Um... Are you going to resume after he's lost the Nexus, though? Because that's the thing. Yeah, like, that's well, the big that's... issue. Mm, uh, no, no, no. I think he should... Uh, to be fair, he should have started before he lost the Nexus. He couldn't select his army and move it. He, he the had thing is, even if he would have time. had... Uh, be able to select his army, he wouldn't have gone over there in time. Like, yeah. he would have been there early, I think. So, um, uh. gonna resume it at 50 minutes exactly or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a strong believer that your army should be as simple as possible, really. Did our. Like, even though Ghosts and Liberators are best, I think just to make things really simple for yourself, you should just have one. And, like, just spam Liberators all over oh, the place, see. so you can have better micro. I you see, have more APM it to takes spare. too much APM. To, yeah. So, yeah, it's more APM to spare, I see. I remember um, when, like, Avilo was trying to make Mass Raven work in on NA, and he was, like, massing goats with his mech, and I was thinking, this is way too complicated. You have, like, ten spellcasters in this army. You have ghosts, you have ravens, <laughs> all these vikings all over the place, you have liberators and tanks, like... It's just too complicated for one person to do. Well... Yeah, uh, yeah, I would agree with it, but... If you, if you can manage Some it, you know, if you do have a high enough... A, a, if you do have enough APM, you know, you can, you can, you know, do... You, you're unbeatable at this point, if you do master a... Ghost and uh, I can't. <laughs> Obviously, I make mistakes later on. But uh, I, I throw one wave of EMPs and all my ghosts die. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I, see, I see where you're coming from, and I will tr actually yes, I will try. I will try a, a one of the other. Yeah. 
I'm glad I'm inspiring your your play, Ditto. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You see, I'm a big believer in uh, mastering all the, you know, spellcasting units and try mm -hmm. trying to have. I think for if you want to be a, well, I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm not a grandmaster player like yourself. If you want to be a grandmaster, I think you should have a two spellcasting units at your disposal, and you should be controlling them well, and then you'll definitely reach the grandmaster and survive. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not Grandmaster at Protoss, but I can't use force fields to save my life because people have been using force fields for like five years in uh, Wings of Liberty. Yeah. And they're all so good at it, and I have no idea how to use them. I remember, we already had this conversation before. <laughs> when you were Protoss, when you played against Alexander, against his uh, Banelings. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you can remember. But yeah, yeah um... Archons break force fields, gonna... you must remember this fact. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. But I'm a big fan of Storm against Terran, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a big, uh, I'm a big believer in it. And I think, well, although the Colossus are not spellcasting unit, I think they should be microed very closely. I think they shouldn't be go too far into the field, you know, especially if they have thermal arms. Yeah. Well, uh, in the olden days, Storm used to be the winning moment when you went Stalker Colossus, because as soon as you reach two forms of splash damage, you sort of won the game against the Bioterran. Because there's yeah. very little to compete with. I was a big believer in Storm even since Brood War. I still remember it in Brood War. <laughs> well, but we yeah, are recovering um... this game. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know, like, I think the recovering process takes so long because it actually has to get yeah. to the point in the game or something. Like, uh, even when you're in replay and trying to, like, go forward, it takes some time. Uh, and it needs to get all the factors correct, I guess. But still, it's all a it... bit too slow, uh, yeah. in my opinion. It's basically just resume from replay, except it blacks your screen out. That's the only yeah. difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty surprised me if it was. Um, Dreamus, what do you think about? Uh, are you a big believer in ghosts and liberators, or one or the other? Uh, uh, I'm not a believer in that Terra and Gawain late game versus Frodo's. <laughs> Zealots keep coming. <laughs> Zealots keep coming, yes. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you set I up your know. liberators, and then the Zealots just run through the circles and live. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then keep charging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> If it's like also when you're going liberators, like even if you get off to a good co count, like and you feel like oh, okay, now I can finally engage the Protoss, and then they have like five tempest and you snipe them, and liberators are completely useless. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> um, okay, so hopefully if he did it correctly. The player should be in the player slots, which I hope he did, uh, and they shouldn't be able to see uh, the game right now. Normally, the observers is able to do that. Um... <laughs> oh, oh did our... gone. Did our... I just I'm still off. here. But yeah, I'm still here. But, but you're game. lagging out the game. I can still move around for some reason. You can move around. Okay. Someone's yeah. logged onto your account and hacked you. Now it's logged you off. No, because yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a diamond free. I have no valuable in my account. One second, guys. I, oh, I think I know. Back. So, uh, oh, you're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're you're back. Yeah, and there we go. Were you alt tab it's, or something? Uh, yeah. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah, it's happened sometimes, you know. Right. Two. Two. Wow. Wow. Well, he's down. probably going to get this Nexus still. Because... He's, yeah, he's still going to get this Nexus. Yeah, anyway. And he's still not moving his stuff. But... And I, I can't write again, I'm all no sir. Are we gonna restart again? Personally. What? If he has hockey issues, it's not our problem. We've we've been we've been Are nice we and restarted for him. Like what's the point? Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I think he just lost his Nexus and he's getting salty. That's what I think, because he can still select stuff. He just I don't understand <laughs> what his problem is. Uh... Like, the best thing to do would be to one of us just resume the hot replay, select his army and see that it works, because it obviously does work, because that bug doesn't exist, that your hotkey yeah. suddenly stops working, unless his keyboard number four isn't working. If he, when he watches this replay, he's going to kick himself.
for not moving A, moving his army right there. Yeah, and spamming T at random well, places to be, in the to, minimap. To be, to be honest, it's his fault because he didn't have an observer in the opposition anyway, in the opposition uh, yeah. car. He didn't That's see it. anything, he didn't see the unit composition, he probably assumed that he was going for liberators already. But Like, before the days of Adept Phoenix, it used to be like heresy not to have five observers just walking around the map. Just checking all the angles, That's... and like in the Stalker Colossus days, you used to make five observers before anything, before you start the Colossus, and like get as many observers as possible to see everything. But people seem to have forgotten that these days, because Terra not nearly as aggressive, because they're scared and expand slowly and have all static units. <laughs> I always wanted to ask you, you know the picture on your Teamspeak profile? Is that yes. Dreamus on the it tank? It is Dreamus. It's him driving his tank. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, <laughs> right. He you owns a tank, <laughs> though, didn't you know? Did I? <laughs> I was <It's> literally <laughs> random. <laughs> oh. But the man who's driving a tank is, 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 you know, he's a little bit of a redneck, you know? If your yeah, accent is a bit of a redneck, you know? So I'm from like... south. <laughs> it is Dreamus. Yeah. I, I love, I love that it picture, was. Dreamus. It's, the it's him playing golf inside. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, that, that the, is that the real picture? You were a pitch in, it was like a mini golf indoors. Yeah, exactly. It was, uh, like, it was cropped from uh, when I was playing in mini golf inside. So, yeah. Was that like a, a tour event or something? And that's how someone got the photo? But no, like no, no, no. it was just on my profile. Uh, okay. I think I had it as a profile okay. picture for a while. Uh, so I think someone just got it from there. I think it was Stockholm that did the picture. Yeah, it was Stockholm. And like, we were uh, mm -hmm. friends in real, so he, he can access everything on my Facebook as well. So, uh, you can take his pics. But yeah. Um, what are we going to do about this He's situation? He's apparently restarting um, PC, uh, so it will take a bit of time here. So we'll throw it to a quick break, and we'll be back uh, as soon as we got the game set up again. Uh, so see you in just a bit, guys. They say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder. How well do you know yourself? Oh my god, Paul is doing this! Paul is doing this! Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. A man 
I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, this, no, no, what he's doing? No, no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. No. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 no what he's doing! No! No, don't do this! Don't do this! say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 what he's doing! No! No, don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do this! No! say a man never really knows 
himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder how well do you know yourself? Oh my god. Paul is doing this. Paul is doing this. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 what is he doing? No, no, don't do this, don't do this. say a man never really knows himself until his freedom's been taken away i wonder how well do you know yourself oh my god all is doing this all is doing this I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I just did it. I don't feel it's gonna be enough. He's killing everything, look at this. Oh no, 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 what is he doing? No, no, don't do this. I don't know how we can cope. You know? uh, I don't know either. <laughs> but yeah, uh, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry for the delay. We're recording for replay one last time now. Uh, our opponent uh, started restarted his computer because the problem was basically that he couldn't select his army for some reason. Um, so we're basically resuming now from replay to try and see if that bug has been sorted out. If it had a sense, uh, he will leave us a walkover. So User we'll entered your channel. Goes. Welcome back, Danceable. Or I guess it was Danceable coming back into the channel. I don't know. I just want it to was, vote but maybe a little bit. He just <laughs> like got disconnected, went away, and then reconnected without realizing. So he might be back. That's true. But yeah. 
uh, we'll do this game, uh, finish up this game basically, and uh, we'll be having doubt about back for the next one. So, yeah. uh, this recovery period is really long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to start. We it should, never we start. <laughs> I'm glad we're playing this game. I'm glad we're playing this game because it's such a good game. We that we should see a big fight. You know, we we should see yeah. this fight yeah, or macro from both opponents. For how how the fight will go. Yeah, it should be good. They're both on four bases. It's yeah. The only is thing is like if, if like, they just know, fight now right. and it goes in like one minute or so or something, that will be just so. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> I want to back that small. You disconnected. How am I back? I just turned my I just turned my broadband off. Why am I online? <laughs> <laughs> I think it reconnects to Teamspeak uh, by default. But yeah, Teamspeak doesn't need the internet. <clears throat> yeah. How did you turn off your broadband? Like, I just turned it off and back like, on. It should take like five minutes to turn back on, but it reconnected while I turned it off. Okay, alright. I don't know. So how does it feel down to it, getting disconnected? Is it annoying? I feel like you. It feels horrible. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel every couple of hours, you know? No. How can you live right. this pain? We're getting back into it with a fancy countdown from the FCS replay. And he can move his orby! It's amazing! Yes! And it's Nexus moving. is going at, down here. Look at it go! Like before, uh, we restarted that bit earlier uh, and uh, the disconnect. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, <laughs> he's just. The process is just moving across the map here. Like, we might have that fight pretty straightforward now. He's trigger happy. <laughs> Let's hope he splits up he here down happy. the ramp. Uh, <laughs> That the Protoss maybe just go straight down because this might be a really good fight for a turn. But there is storms! There is storms! The storms are coming in! Oh, the storms! So Ooh, many storms! Good storms! Oh, he picked up some of his army by mistake. Um, oh, there's so much cell on our. Oh, this is so, so much stuff. The Terra won't be able to remax uh, in time to deal with it. And this, this is oh, there is the ghosts, but the ghosts are too oh, late. No, run, ghosts! Run, ghosts! Run! But he, he did get almost all the energy on the MPs though. But it doesn't matter because he lost all the army. So no, it doesn't. Um, oh, and he's just rallying down into our army as well. Uh, this is a sad day for Terran. <laughs> so much trouble <laughs> for such little wow. action. But yeah, uh, GG. Well GG. It's okay. Showing that Salot Arkham Storm is truly very imbalanced. <laughs> not biased at all for me, not biased at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, so we're gonna get the third game started then. Um, well, I think we'll just. Stay alive since it will be quite quickly uh, started up, I uh, would assume. Um, Alright. Danceable is still with us? Yep. So you yeah, he's still there. Uh, Are we offline? Are we live or not? Uh, yes, we're live. We're live. Oh, we're still live. Quick, okay. don't say nasty things. <laughs> About everyone. <laughs> so, like, so. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was right. gonna go. Uh, I was gonna go <laughs> completely in disarray right there. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, right. I'm sending out the invite to you guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have Andrian play here. Uh, he was uh, uh, really like um, hyped for his revenge. Since he was initially gonna play a PvP, but since their player uh, wasn't here, uh, he allowed them to substitute their player uh, to another diamond, which is Terra. So he gets his revenge from last week uh, on a Terra, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, never mind. Uh, Mr. Charter is apparently here, uh, which was the, the player that was supposed to play from the beginning. Oh, so awesome. there will be a <laughs> PvP. 
Never mind what I just said. Like everything I just said was completely incorrect. Now we will have a PvP. <laughs> Mr. Turtle is Diamond One. Yes, As he is. Yeah. Our tour member. This Indeed. is an equal matchup. Yeah. One uh, may make zealots, one may not, and we'll see who wins. <laughs> well, they may, they may make zealots. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, uh, the Protoss and the other races are a little bit uh, misrepresented right here because all three of us cast is at Terrans. Well, that's uh, actually switched. <laughs> he, he has betrayed the Terran race, so. I have joined. And, uh, <laughs> you can't beat them, join them. Once yes, a Terran, indeed. always a Terran. It's nice, you know, we, we can go to the left, but we always come back. As yeah. he did versus Alexander. Don't you remember that dream? Uh, Danceable? Yeah, I do remember. Yeah. That. Yeah, you will always come back. Always bounce back. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. As we load into this game, oh, um, which most of it will be decided in the openers, as yeah. most PVPs are. Yeah, Aldrion usually goes pretty safe though with darker openings, uh, so I think he should be fine. But we'll see. The spawning uh, down in the bottom right, so we have the WBO player, Mr. Turtle. With that like, name like that, he must be very aggressive and not very mad. <laughs> 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 well, well. And in the top left, we have very own representing Team Tor, is Aldrian. Hi. Hi. Indeed. Um, yeah, let's we'll see what he brings out here. Um, but yeah, like he, he usually likes to go for that uh, safe starter opening and go into late game if possible. But then again, PvP can be pretty interesting mid game. Uh, if people start getting those disruptor shots off, I don't know if yeah. that has that actually gone off meta now, like or not. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I like, don't think people so either, are still yeah. doing it. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, like, still disruptor is still a very big part of the game. But yeah, Especially like, because I, I was yes. like looking at WCS and I saw I was Nee versus what was the other product. Uh, who was actually in that? It must have I been like in the round of 16 or something. But yeah, it, it was basically a PvP and like Neeb tried to go not Disruptor, uh, but then his opponent just went Disruptors and he died. <laughs> because I he couldn't deal uh, with the Disruptors. Yeah. If like, if you go for Mad Zealots, you actually do very well against Disruptors because uh, the Disruptors suck against the Zealots themselves because they can't shoot the Zealots. They're very good against the Stalkers and the Immortals and whatnot, and the Archons, yeah. but not the Zealots. But uh, yeah, like, in the Protoss meta, it seems to be changing quite a lot, because people went for this double gate opening, and they used to use the double gates quite a lot. But for now, people seem to build two units out of the double gate, and then just go straight into their tech choice, like a Stargate, for example, yeah. or for DTs. So like, I've been trying to go a single gate to abuse this, because no one seems to be punishing me. But uh, we have we a great opening at the moment, with two Adepts yeah. versus two Stalkers. Yeah. I was about to say that. I threw you off, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. I was about to say it's a quite a mirror opening in terms yeah. of buildings, but... This probe is one... sneaky, look at this. Oh, it's going to get killed, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, said... yeah. Red probe. No but a robo to open is very funky. Like, this is very unusual to open straight up a robo unless you're going to use it for something, because you don't need detection yeah. this early, which is uh, the main purpose of the robo. I think this was what actually, I think Aldrin was talking about it earlier. I didn't listen too well, but uh, I think he said something about getting stalkers into the opponent's main with a war prism early on, uh -huh. uh, and that way catching him off guard or something. Um, and that he had, had worked for him uh, good on ladder when he tried it out. Uh, he should be saying the oh, shades, he should be no, seeing the shades. shades. He's not reacting. He's gonna lose a lot of probes. Yet. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of probes. One, oh, he's not pulling either. Two, three, and he's going to reshade. Oh, and he sees the gateways if he's paying damage. attention. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 
that is so much damage done. Once again. There is a uh, lot of damage. If you open two stalkers like this, you have to stay defensive because stalkers yeah. are you're gonna kill their units for free. But uh, you can't have them pushing across the map. Like these two stalkers. <laughs> yeah, start attacking if they're gonna send <laughs> them. The guy's comment that is definitely <laughs> true. <laughs> it is true, and he's moving out right now. He so can what, actually what win. He's, I think he's gonna win this game. Like because you know, he's not building any units. He's making a robo and a forge. He's not making anything, and he has yeah, four gateways. I mean, no he way. can still do this. I think. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's very little actually going on there. He can go s straight into the main base, so he can skip the. Yeah, the exactly. Because the those natural. four stalkers can uh, go directly in as well, and it's only four stalkers of his opponent. So if he micros as well, and warps in with the warpism as well. Uh, yeah, this should be able to do a lot of damage. He doesn't see this as well. This is out of vision. Oh, this yeah, is, is out of vision. This is brilliant. If he gets that pylon, this game's over. Oh, That's the nice. only get production oh he has. God. Oh, he's getting the pylon. He doesn't oh, even have an immortal so coming big. out. He's an observer. So big. Oh, oh micro. Yeah, excellent. Nice micro there. Oh, oh this is the GG. If he gets the motion core, GG. that will be game over. Yeah, exhaust. But he doesn't We're have to go down to the natural. There. You can just go and pick up the probes. Yeah, go to the main base. Come on, Alderaan. Don't commit to this. Focus! Oh, the zealots are going to work on the probes. That's good. Ah, okay, picking right, up the stalkers. So, yeah. yeah, this is over. Yeah, this is over. It GG. is a game over. Well. Wall yes, play yeah. from Alderaan. Very nicely executed build there. The Protoss opponent is just... But just went too greedy, basically. Um, yeah. I spoke to Aldrin prior to this game. I spoke to him prior to this game, and he said he was slightly nervous. Yeah. <laughs> about this matchup, about uh, about this game, I told him not, no, you know, not to be, and uh, just see how it goes. Oof. Yeah. Exactly. GG, well played. GG, From well played. Here. Bring us back to a two-one score, or one-two, I guess is a uh, proper way to say it, since we're done again. But we'll have Black Sword coming in there as the fourth player now and see if he can bring it to the ace game. Um, but yeah, uh, while we're setting up the next game, we're just gonna throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back.
what that's called, there we go. Um, <laughs> Who's our next player? Uh, Bless. Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, tier 1 and diamond player, so it should be good. He usually plays it's... with a much well as well. Is he Zerg? Yeah. Yes, he's Zerg. I'm not sure if this is a good map for Zerg or not, Proxima. What do you think? Like, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I, I feel like it's uh, decent. Uh, that's just what I've got enough uh, idea about it, but I don't know though. Like, maybe in CVT it's not as good, but it does favor the macro game though, I think, uh, on this map. So it might be a nice black sword if he doesn't want to go for aggression. I don't know what he has in mind. I don't know about you guys, but I hate Proxima Station myself. I always have it vetoed. <laughs> Proxima Station and Blood Boil itself. That's because you cheese every game. No, I don't cheese every game. It's not. It's not about that. I just really <laughs> don't play with the map. I just really hate the map. You know, it's uh, it's just one of those. It's unusual. Although, it, although my ratios, like win to win to loss ratios, and it's it's quite even against all matchups. You know, against the TVT, TVZ, or TVP. But yeah. I just don't like the map at all. What I find unusual about it is having your natural in oh, your okay, base. Sorry. That's very yeah. weird for me. And like having a small ramp to defend it's very like i don't know weird compared to all the other maps yeah mm. I uh, I, yeah no, well blood boil is pretty much the same the same one you have uh you have a second uh, second base well slightly inside the natural but i don't like it because well there is a lot of minerals and it's as a terror it's quite advantageous just having you know if you're going bio heavy it just has more like you know one gas patch but at the Proxima, I just don't like that. <laughs> I just don't like. I'm, I'm not, I, don't, I never feel comfortable on that map. Yeah. I've started to see a lot of sneaky things happen on this map. Like Protoss have started uh, walling off the third base and taking that as their natural, and then having the pocket natural as your third sort of thing. So you have a ah. safe three bases from the start of the game. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, I've like seen that. it. I was wondering why is it? Or why? Is, why does it happen quite a lot? I think it's not very good if they push you though, because uh, it's so much further forward and you can't really defend it from yeah. anything because oh. you're fighting into a concave. <coughs> then. No, but anyway, moving into this game in the bottom left, we have WBO Zod Ika. <laughs> and in the top right, we have representing Team Tor playing with the Zerg pieces is our own Black Sword. Indeed. Hype. Pipe, pipe, pipe. There are uh, a lot of good things about this map though for ZVT though, because uh, there's only Zerg. one way for the Reaper, for the Zerg player, yeah, because there's only one way for the Reaper to get into the base, so it's very difficult to scout. There's like a lot of uh, Nidus worms that happen on this map and just dumb stuff because it's impossible to scout the main yeah, base in natural with the Reaper. After I absolutely the speed is agree. Finished. Yeah, yeah. I yes, absolutely I, I agree. I sense your pain, did I? Have you been cheesed <laughs> against on this map? <laughs> yes, I know, I've been cheesed on this map quite a lot. Yeah. Probably he's taking the forward base as well. This is even more uh, oh, difficult yeah. to scout the third base if he takes this. Yeah. And lends itself to cheeses. Indeed. I remember yeah. Teja was saying uh, before he retired, expand into Zerg, you know, towards the Zerg. That's how you win the that's <laughs> how you win the TVZs. Yeah. And uh, he showed us that it's, it's quite actually, you know, you have to be a master to pull it off. Well, I mean, uh, it's the reason you expand forward is because you're attacking into them with a constant rally in Heart of the Swarm. So uh, you don't need to defend your bases if your bases are next to his bases that you're attacking. But if you lose your attack, you'll lose your base as well, because it's right next to theirs. Oh, that's what he meant. The way it works. But uh, it doesn't work that way anymore in this matchup, because Terran is a lot more defensive after Roach Ravenger became a thing. Especially with yeah. Infestors now that can burrow Yeah, it is. That's a pain. Uh, yeah, those are annoying. annoying. Like having uh, baning landmines all over the map permanently that move and f follow your army and you never know where they're going to come from. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, uh, yes. uh, this map does favor the... I'm, I'm sorry, Dan, well, this map actually oh, quite sorry. favors the mutualist, mutualist play as well because there's, there's a lot of pockets, uh, space pockets in between, in the, you know, in the back of the base, in the, in the back of yeah. the um, natural. Oh no, to the left of the natural and in the back of the main. Yeah. Yeah, and that, yeah, I do think Black Sword actually favors uh, certainly mainling uh, Spire in this, uh, um, even in this expansion. Um, that's usually what I see from him in the Middle East in CVT uh, when he plays. 
I don't think he has Zodki is Zod already uh, <laughs> So what do you think weird. Zodiac is thinking right now? Do, does he think that this is his third base? Or does no. he think it's his second? Uh, he, no. he thinks <laughs> that, then he must be like... Wait, what? <laughs> That's a winner, mate. I thought he was going to go into Heli and Banshee, and I was going to be like, he's going to play mech, guys, but no. <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> oh. But yeah, this is it's very, very unusual to open with a factory into a reactor in this meta. You either open two racks stim, or you... Rack, or you three racks reap it all in, and that's basically the meta at the moment against Zerg. The yeah, open of a factory is quite unusual. Yeah, I see. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a Protoss. Uh, well, Terran is like playing, it's like, it's, I think he's playing against the Protoss here. Maybe he thinks he does because he just opened up the Widow Mine. Um, I'm not sure what he's expecting there. I don't think the Oracle is coming. Uh, well, uh, he, like, he will do the four Widow Mine or four Marines uh, Widow Mine. It should, should have two Widow Mines by that, though, usually. Uh, it's a decently common build to just go one Medivac, four Marines, and two Widow Mines, and drop that. Um, one of the... Black is scouting here, as you see, and he's scouting that the factory has a tech fab, which is very unusual, so he yeah. should be preparing for something defensive, but a third base is actually going to be built here. Yeah, I saw it. Which is very funky. I think he, just, he, he might just he be doesn't thinking care. that it, it might be something... Uh, that he might be expecting a road ravager or something, just preparing for that, just in case. You want to have one tank then that leads to like hunker down uh, on the top of the ramp here. Yeah. But still, I don't know. Uh, a bit funky. Uh, uh, we can see the drop lords being more at the moment. Yeah, in yeah. the south. Yeah. The drop lords are kind of in. All of this is weird because their black is actually in a very decent position. Yeah, against this. Right. He's already got the double Evo, which he's not actually using yet because he's only got the gas for it, and he's got yeah. it there on the way, so he's very well prepared against this sort of thing. And when you start yeah. building tanks one at a time, the thing that suffers is the upgrades, because you have no gas for them. Yeah. But uh, here comes the drop. As the general rule is, if you're defending, you shouldn't take any damage from it, because your army is right next to the mineral line. Yeah. But we'll see how uh, well this does. The, his drop just went out, though, so he doesn't have much at the home at all to deal with this yeah. survey. So this is going to do a ton of damage for Black Sword. If they'll properly, even if they'll properly, like, uh, it will do a lot of damage. Yeah, getting few SUVs. Oh, the friendly fire by the, yeah, exactly. fire by the yeah. tank as well. <coughs> oh, he actually, he could have micro those certainly a bit better and gotten into the national doing some damage. Uh, but yeah, that was still, uh, like, pretty decent damage, I would say. Five SUVs yeah. going on. I thought it would but do a lot more, though. Uh, I see no yeah. overlord to the low turn. Oh, no overlord to spot this drop. From uh, all right, the drop from is Zodiac, coming in there, yeah. the yeah. drop is coming in. Yes, into the main, and there is no overload to spot this. Yeah, and there is actually. It's no, very surprising. Oh, the Sterlings are in the third, uh, so they are not uh, in position yet. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, nice, nice He's pull. Nice, great pull, and yeah. sacrificed and one uh, one drone there. He pulled the Sterlings to the wrong, but that was fine. Uh, Got the medevac a bit lower as well, that's always good. Uh, let's get those drones back to mining. Nice, nice. Um, and the bay yeah, you can also see too. that the creep spread is really progressing already, uh, thanks to the early third base there. Uh, so he's starting to get creep up uh, really nicely. Uh, third base taken on the other side of the map for the Terran. He's uh, is, is not starting any upgrades yet for Terran though. No, he's still making tank con at times, so he can't afford the upgrades until he's got that yeah. third base down. Oh, and the stem and the combat shield is... Yeah, and the rest of the drop basically got cleaned up there, only two marines left in that. Steam only been, uh, halfway done. Yeah, I've been looking at the production tab, and I don't think uh, the Terran's been making SEVs two at a time consistently, because uh, the problem with Zerg doing these kind of drop plays is you have to remake the lings in order to survive. So he lost 16 lings and then had to remake them to defend against this drop. And the yeah. Terran should be really pulling ahead in the workers, even though he only lost 5. Cause, but he's so far behind yeah, against Black in this game. Oh. He flies right over that creep, so the Zerg will be prepared for this drop. Yeah. Hopefully he's seen this happening and yeah. He'll go right underneath those. Uh... He's going straight into the natural. Right this is the right. problem yeah. with this map. It's so hard to get around and it's so Black close Sword by is air. already in position though for that. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Siege up there. But he won't actually reach anything, right? 
Yeah. Oh, it accidentally reaches. Right, he reaches oh. that. Yeah, he can. I didn't think that was a thing. But yeah, the queens Jeez. can start to. Oh, he oh, runs into this, links. Don't do it. This, don't do it. Don't do it. This wins if he just attacks the zerglings. There's no way this amount of uh, tanks and marines can beat this amount no, of zerglings. No, no. That's true. That's true. But he's being no, so those, timid. The tank will do some a little bit of friendly fire for those on on those marines as well. Yeah. Yeah, he, he will lose both the tanks as well. That's really bad actually. Sure. Oh, he shouldn't have gone in with the bailings though. It's one of the map. Oh, he got one out actually. That must have been really close. From the yeah. But yeah. Only six um, health on that medevac. Yeah. In the end, this was fine though. Like, Black Sword is from 1-1 uh, compared to 0-0, his opponent. And like, yeah, quite far ahead of drones as well. Even yeah. if that's expected. Um, <coughs> playing at TVC, but still. I think uh, uh, the main story of this game is Black is really man managing his economy a lot better during the aggression. Yeah. Look at the uh, money for Terran now. He's at 1,500 minerals, whereas oh, Black oh, is oh, now good, spending you. his money quite well, and it's yeah. a supply now and for spending the it. The creepy suit actually reaching his opponent's base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so far ahead. Uh, so yeah. It's very good crisis management from Black to keep spreading creep while the aggression's going on. Even though yeah. he's not really clearing it up, he's losing quite a few drones to it. He's still Ooh. spending his money yeah. and recovering. And I like this, on the way now. Spire, yes, I like this. It's very late though for this stage of the game. It's almost it uh, late. not really useful at this stage of the game. The surprise factor's sort of gone. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I, I think he feels he's very confident uh, confident in his game. You know, his, uh, his Zerg and Bailing game, I think he, yeah. he thinks that he can defend it really well. He doesn't need to fire yet, he's like, only getting where it Where did now. the links go? Okay, they're, they're trying to clear up a... And he's getting his fist. Uh, a flank he's there. The, he feels very comfortable. But yeah, like, Black Suit just has <coughs> way too much here. Like, he, if he just straight up he moves into this, I think he would win the fight without a problem. So I yeah. think he's just a bit hesitant, wanting to set up that flank. Uh, There's also no reason to go in because he has two two on the way, so you can just oh, wait for he's two gonna two. Actually, just go and he surrounds it. Oh, yeah. he's going in. Let's yeah. see how it goes. This looks good. Yeah, exactly. Not even a stim for the yeah, turn. He, oh know, well he done. Destroys this army. Yeah, exactly. That was and really nice counter, because he, he took the links first in the uh, west side. That way, the tank fire actually got on those links instead of the bailing, um, and therefore he just could not fight up really well. So still, um, what do you think about using tanks against the Ling Bane? I think you have to be very defensive. If you he's moved out at 130 supply instead of like 180, so you don't get the critical amount of tanks that you need. And he isn't upgrading the tanks as well because if you don't upgrade the tanks' attack damage, they don't actually one-shot banelings, which is a big deal when doing these sorts of fights. Yeah. That's but, uh, back very with two marines went in again. Right and there's yeah. another drop coming yep. in. This is a natural. Backs are already on top of that though. We must have seen it yeah. with our so uh, he's pulling his army over there. I hope uh, this is going to be a good trade. Oh. And oh, he catches but, those oh, yeah, medevacs exactly. as well. Exactly. It will be on top of that though, so no, he, he shouldn't have chase. To pull he shouldn't back. chase. He shouldn't oh, chase no. now. No, he he used, loses yeah. one. I think he lost two or three though. Oh, Wasn't it yeah. seven mutas? I thought oh. there was five. On the show. Alright, let me yeah, he's confident. He's moving out again. He's very aggressive at this moment. Oh no, he's just no. He's he's moving out. Look at it. The creep is reaching yeah. his gold base already. So, uh, yeah. Black Shroud in past stage a bit. It's a bit late. I would say. I think he would have yeah. come down. Michelle should have come down much earlier. The wind condition. Gone. The yeah. wind condition for most Zerg players is uh, getting to hive tech, and he really is on twelve minutes now. And three three is going to start in a second, and he's yeah. really far behind on this hive tech. But uh, right. attacking no, here is maybe not the best. Yeah, it's always. Uh, because there is a planet there, there in the way. Uh, so it's There's a pretty links. decent split here by the Terrans, but this way too much by the Zerg. Yeah, exactly. I think he wins this fight very easily. Yeah, yeah he also has an it upgrade lead as well. Is he gonna get this base? Versus the planetary though, so... He will get this base. Plus. Yeah, exactly. That really oh, no. denies the Terrans economy here. Even if it has 61 workers, like, that won't be able to sacrifice. Properly, since you can see already natural on the main, it's going to get uh, mined out there. Muta's getting into the production here. Uh, he should be focusing the SCV still instead of focusing the adults, I think. Yeah. 
this matchup more than any matchup, the upgrades matter more than anything because it's more like a 20% efficiency change every yeah. upgrade you get for a Ling. And uh, he was two upgrades ahead in that last fight, so the Bane Lings are just doing a crazy amount of damage to the bio, and the Lings as well are mopping up everything. Yeah. But three has, <coughs> well, plus three has started, and Hive is only just starting now, so he will be ahead in plus three if this game goes on. Complete, though, so, uh... Like he's only started his fourth phase oh, already, wow. Yeah, no. The Zerg it's is already on his, on his, on his sick. Uh, yep, and there's Muters cool. going into the natural, it looks like, over at the fourth base. Or the third base, uh, should I say. Of the Eternal right, player. Ah, yeah. oh, that's already three decibels down. Yes. Uh, I'm canceling he's that near, fourth He's as well. nearing the maximum, well, maximum army as well, maximum capacity here. He's nearing yeah. max, maximum capacity here. Yeah, that's it, he's maxed out. Exactly. Are we gonna like, see some aggression? Yeah, and it, he's actually on 90 drones, that's so many drones. Uh, <laughs> but he, he will be able to like just start producing those. I'm assuming he's gonna go into ultras. Yeah, so there's yep. ultra is covered in a, just a bit. And free free should be starting as well in just a bit. Adrenal glands are free free coming down there. That's really nice. The Terran really has to push before high tech finishes, but he's so far behind in supply, it's really just impossible, especially with the muters coming into harass. Yeah, he should every pull back second. those queens. Yeah. Pull back those queens. Yeah. Black Fury is just really doing a really good job here by taking expansion uh, with everywhere. And the only thing he lacked a bit for him is to continue uh, that creep spread he was doing in the beginning. Like he was doing that really good, but then the Terran started to clean it up and he kind of stopped. Yeah. So now his uh, bases aren't as connected as they could be. It's very important to keep your queen's hotkeys in the late game because after the creep gets cleared, you really lose track of where your queens are. Yeah. Or if oh. you lose your queens as well, you have to rebuild them. Otherwise, this creep just yeah. never gets respread. This is the problem, impossible. though. This space, like in the bottom right, it's really exposed. And these two drops come in. Uh, if uh, Black Sword is yeah. unlucky, it's gonna be scouting that and be able to. I don't think he's For sure he's gonna scout base. it. He's gonna get the creep though, and then he's gonna see it. Yeah, I oh, no, he sees it. Although he's probably, probably not gonna see it, see it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's sure. No, he's not he seeing see it. it I, don't, I don't think he's seeing it. Yeah. There's but Muters Black in the third place, by the way. Yeah, attacking on the other side of the map. Yeah. But it, it's not actually not like the biggest deal because like he's on 90 drones anyways, so... Yeah, he wants to lose these drones, yeah, to be honest. You know, like, Yes, yeah. Bane is coming to pick this up, he should pick up, just in time, because yeah. he's watching. And muters are harassing the third base of the Terran still. Oh, certainly damage. run by here into the third, so that was nice. Uh, two SVs going down. Medivac's going into the natural here, or well, what's the natural? Um. So yeah, this is where the game really becomes impossible for the Terran. Because as yeah. soon as these lings start getting upgraded, it becomes impossible to drop anywhere. So as soon as you get a great Geno Grand, ah, uh, we'll get another run by here into the third of turn. Yeah, uh, this time we're zoning through so much damage. Oh, this is yeah. so annoying. So, the SCV the count is just dropping. Great. 16 SCVs down. Oh, it's, it's terrible, terrible damage. Terrible, <laughs> terrible damage. <laughs> 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 to quote, uh, I, uh, I guess it's the Artosis and Ulse attack, right? Uh, That's Dustin Browder that says terrible, terrible damage. Oh, That's where it, it comes from. Yeah, but it, there was some announcement back that they did it as well, right? Yeah, everyone started doing it because of Dustin yeah. Browder did yeah, it while yeah. casting. So yeah, everyone sort of cool. copied him. Even more SCVs are going down to those mutants and a third. He's attacking the supply depots in rage. And it, and it looks like the Terran had enough of it. He's moving out. Exactly. This is the last, last push of the game. <laughs> oh, and he's out of position. He's going down to the bottom. Yeah, he was dealing with completely with out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's gonna get a free base. But yeah, um, I mean, uh, fine up Black Sword. He's happy to trade that out for all the damage he did towards the Terran's economy. Yeah. Black is really looking for a fight now. If he clears this army up, there's just no economy for the Terran to replace it. Yeah, but uh, cool. if he lets it live, he can keep massing liberators and get to a point where the Ultras can't really do anything. But he got, does have corruptors already, though. So yeah, yeah, he will be able to deal with those liberators. Oh, so yeah, there he comes! Oh, there. Up. 
Here come the beans. Everything. So much. Yeah, everything <laughs> dies in the blink so of an eye. So much I've <laughs> never seen anything like it before. It just died. It didn't even have an oversteer or some oversteer. It didn't even I think. stop. Uh, the <laughs> the spin of mine just uh, went off like this shit. Otherwise, you want to engage with a few overshares slash overlords before it. Yeah. That way, they soak some of the wind mines from the failings. But this is the problem with Terran. If you lose a fight, you're basically lost because you can just counter attack. Yeah. And yeah. Can't they should have army, like, made it. Oh far, no, right. what is he doing? Why is he pulling back? He could have taken that. He could have taken that planetary. Yeah. Well, he's but... got ten more, eleven ultras on the way. He can just <laughs> move after this. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, Imagine if I think Protoss... he must deal with this aggression that was coming across from that. Imagine if Zerg neuroparasited a probe and made zealots with their ultras. So imagine how broken that would be. <laughs> oh, there was some ling but I'm by going on her as well, I think. Or seeing some attacking units somewhere. Uh not sure how they got in though. But yeah, this is the this is the game here. <coughs> if you move out of turn, if you're not maxed out and take a bad fight, you're pretty stuffed in the late game because you can't place your army. Yeah, and he's done that yeah. three times this game. And oh. it's resulted in a win for Black, it looks like. Yeah, as soon as he uh, clicks way. across the map. Yeah, I don't see yeah. a way back here for a Terran. Yeah, the supply is just like so in favor of Black Sword. The army supplies are actually quite even though, but like you're saying, the well, like the composition of uh, Black Sword is just superior. 16 to... Ultras. Yeah, he's gonna snipe these Liberators. Oh, forcing out. That's not a good there. stim. This is where Infestors come in handy to lock in place the yeah. bio. But here he goes, he's got so many ultras, I don't think it will matter. Even fighting in the worst spot will not save him. And the Paris Harry goes down, and that's going to be game for and game number four. I think most heralds can recognize this feeling when those ultras are coming in and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> because it's yeah. just so much. But yeah, GG well played Black Sword. That ties up 2-2. Uh, yeah. uh, so it's gonna be an ace match. We're gonna be reviving one of our players. <coughs> so while uh, our opponents are selecting, then we're selecting the players. So we'll take a short break and we'll be back. Um, we'll play the ace game. So yeah, see you in just a bit. <laughs>
We are live um, now we'll stream again. Uh, we're getting in today's match and we got Black Sword coming back to beat the Terra again. <laughs> it's actually the exact same I match see. as last time. Uh, so it's like yeah. one of those, you know, old kill formats they used in the Nation Wars. You know, you can resurrect yeah. one of your players, and there we go, Zodiac Sorry. going against Black Sword. And what a matchup it is! It's Zerg versus Terran. We can't yes. ask for anything more. Exactly. And on my favorite map, Abyssal Reef. Mm -hmm. exactly. Spawning in the bottom left, in the bottom right. Sorry, my apologies. Is the WBO Zod here? Hi. And spawning in the top left is our own, who won the previous game against the Terran, and he's on currently on the high. Is Black Sword. Hi. And I some have a inside. Question. Yeah, sir. Go ahead. To present to you two. Especially you, Travis. Yeah. Okay. What is it? What no is it with Zerg players and purple? Tell me. <laughs> That's a very, <laughs> That's a very good, good question. question. <laughs> that is a very good question, Danzable. I've just noticed it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty much all the time that they are going for that purple. I don't know. I, I, I can't really answer that. Conspiracy properly. theories, Travis, yeah. is the answer. We have I think uh, Sue. Right. Sue always goes for purple. Sue and uh, Bjol, I think those two always go for purple. Yeah. Maybe there's a connection. We must yeah. do an investigation. Connection. Or maybe they're just a superstitious bunch, you know? They think that purple is the color of prosperity for the Zerg, for Indeed. the swarm, you know? Yeah, could be, could be. 
Also, I got some insight here in today's gear of Black Sword. He's apparently playing on like one of those like almost Mac keyboards, you know. So like he doesn't really have the optimal <laughs> gear uh, today. I, I'm not sure if he actually plays on that or ordinarily or not. But if he does, uh, I'm like so surprised how he can play so well on those. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, aren't like the Apple mice, they're like touchscreen mice, aren't they? They're not actual real mice. They just sort of, you have to tap the mouse yeah. like a laptop or something. Yeah. Or something ridiculous. Oh. I do think you he has I mean? a proper mouse though, but the keyboard was like, uh, yeah, not too Horrible. good. I, think. No. <laughs> I have one of those basic bell <clears throat> yeah. uh, mouses, you know, I'm happy with it. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't exchange it for anything. Alright guys, I'm really sorry, but this is my favorite map. Let's talk about it. A oh, beetle reef. We can, we can probably find Dream Mission Shark somewhere uh, that MDM started uh, <laughs> when he was captured. <laughs> so there is a shark uh, in if the If you top go right. to the main base, yeah, I found it. Oh, there we are, there we are. Yeah, found it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, there's also like uh, another shark that you can see the shadow of here, like uh, just outside the natural of Zodiac. Uh, it it doesn't actually show the shark though. It's just shadow. Uh, but but yeah. I just love. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's something different. You know, instead of instead of things dying, they just rise up. It's, yeah, they it's just always. float. It's under the water. You know, it's just yeah. it's, it's, it's very it's, buggy as well, which is great. Yeah. It's not just buggy. Yeah, yeah. Get a better computer then. <laughs> but <laughs> like I units just fly in weird directions. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> there's like four different paths to attack, you know, there is there is everything on this map and uh, it's it's very different to the others. The other the other maps, you know, uh, especially coming from the Heart of the Swarm or Legacy of the, uh, well, Heart of the Swarm or Wings of Liberty. So some of them are actually quite similar, but this one is completely original, I think. Uh, this is this is by far my favorite map and I always feel comfortable on it. That's because yeah. uh, it's a very good map for Terran. And you are a terrible oh, player, yeah. as we see. There is two racks stim coming, which is the most powerful build to do on this map. Yeah, I mean, exactly. See, exactly. That's why I love this map. It's just you know. <laughs> yeah, that's where everyone hates the it. The entrance, and there is two entrances to your, to your mains. Yeah. But, oh no, sorry. I would do your natural. Like, uh, you know, to your natural. Being a bit more careful on this map, like opening up a bit more safe uh, to deal with that, uh, since it's uh, usually quite common on this map. Um, so yeah, hopefully we just yeah. won't uh, expect this opponent to go for the same thing, uh, because then he might be in some trouble. Zodkia's build was very bad last game, it just was all over the place and not really achieving anything, but this is far more practice, this yeah. build he's doing. Oh. Indeed. Um, Although he is supply blocked slightly. Yeah, he will Loves see the all the marines reef. there and he will realize, <laughs> okay, this is a uh, yeah, double, for sure. uh, two rex opening. Um, yeah, he's gonna make more links now. Yeah, there's 22 there, so links coming out this. here uh, just before the five minute mark, so it's gonna be uh, very nice. Eh? But he's he's actually a going bit too for late. the same build again, it seems, with the drops. Or is he gonna yeah. run by? Or he, he does have I don't the like Evos, this so at all. It's gonna actually catch Ooh, him and the Terran is just moving up as well. The, if he does this uh, correctly timed though, he can catch the Terran off guard, but it basically forces you into a base trade, which becomes really awkward. Uh, yeah. He could lose his third base if he doesn't do this carefully, and he's not moving in now, so the Terran's going to get the opening, which yeah, just gives him a huge advantage. Indeed. Um, yeah, he's going to wait as well if he's making Bane leads. Oh, in the big yeah, so he's all in But th this well, might this work out. Quick. This might work out good for Black Sword though. Uh, like if he just sacrifice sacrifices third and then like defends uh, his natural and main with uh, reinforcement. Yeah. Then he it might work block, out. So He's I don't agree on here. like all the bane he made. He should have just used uh, them for uh, some. Links, yeah, bait so those or... with the mines. Bait those with the mines. Yes, he baited those with the mines, and that's oh, nice. very good. So for very nice. Win, he has to get on top of the production. That's the only way he can win this. Because if he gets on top of the production, he won't be able to. Oh, he's not microing those out. marines. He's not microing those marines on the opposition. He, they all got cleaned up. Oh, this okay. This is disastrous for the Terran. Oh, yeah, one, indeed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a big game hit. Oh, uh, he's, I guess this is the disastrous GG, for the Terran. Uh, or well, maybe not GG. Oh, those fans. 
minimize so um, yeah but this is starting to spiral a bit over control he wasted those bindings, otherwise he could have kept uh, killing those SEVs, but uh, yeah, it's yeah, a huge lead for, for Black in this game. Yeah, it's all, uh, he went a bit, little bit too heavy on the bailings. If he would have gone just a few less, he would have had more links to bag it up, uh, which would have helped him a ton. But yeah, like I wouldn't say like the Terran is out of the game though. Oh yeah, certainly not. Oh no, certainly uh, not. There is a not. third command center down, um, so yeah. yeah. Also, his upgrades are ahead of the Zerg players as well, and he already has Stim and Combat Shields, so he's, yeah. he's chilling, apart from his Not Combat Shield yet. Not Combat Shield yet. Oh, it's on the way, and it will finish with his 1-1. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, the bird base was just taken. Uh, Black's still making units, though, which is not good for him. He needs to make making drones rather than units, because the Terran's never yeah. going to attack in these positions, ever, for Sorry. any reason. He should be just using those units, I think, to, like, do counter-aggression here, like, uh... But maybe yeah. it, it, it would be hard, I guess, to break all those Widow Mines. Uh, he can around. stop the third base getting up, for sure. He just yeah. stands his units outside the third base and baits them into him. Yeah, he just sits there. I think Zodiac is a big believer in the F2 button right there, because I think those Marines... He, I think he rallied all his units in, and those Marines got done oh, by yeah. those bailings in, in the opposition. There's a drop somewhere that just morphed in. I don't know oh. where that was. Uh, Someone, he warped it in somewhere. Maybe it's in his main base, or going down with his units, but... Yeah, I'm not he sure. He seems to be moving uh, out somewhere. I'm trying to find it, but I'm not finding it. Oh, it's over here. There it is. Uh, it's a bit slow. Yeah, <coughs> indeed. It's gonna take I'm gonna reach time the base to in four minutes' time. Twelve <laughs> minute mark. We'll yeah, land there is the no, no, no speed for the overlord, which is a bit surprising to me. Um, but I guess it's. Do you think? Do you think command. he messed up the build? Because the build was similar to last game, except last yeah. time he got speed with the overlords, and he forgot that this game. I yeah, if he messed yeah up. I believe so. Or maybe he was just overlords. looking to finish the game right there and then, with, yeah. that, with that aggression. Yeah, maybe he felt like he, he, he wouldn't be able to stack up in a macro game on this map with my keyboard, Kepa. <laughs> I don't know. The uh, drop in the natural, moving in, let's see how much damage it does, but it's going yeah. at the speed of nothing <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to mine out that base before it reaches it. Bef before it's actually in, it will have finished up uh, Bailey speed uh, for it though, so the Bailey's will get into minerals quickly. But yeah, but Zokia has a huge opportunity to equalize in this game. If he defends this aggression and puts yeah. in his own attack and does well, he's gonna find himself in the lead. He's not that far behind. Yeah. And the drops moving into oh, the natural now the mines. as these Zergs oh, come in. Oh, the mines. Natural. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Oh, he's not seeing it. He's not seeing it. He should be dropping now, though. He should be dropping <laughs> no. now. He's taking too long. Oh my god, they are so stacked up as well. Ah! Oh my god. For all that. <laughs> well, eight. Eight, eight down. He's still equal in uh, supply, though. Yeah. But it, it is a big but, difference uh, in yeah. workers, though. Uh, so the, the army is bigger for Terra. Um. He's look at the easy, look so. at the difference in this game compared to last game because Black was so much better at his macro last game. <laughs> okay, two yeah. minutes then. Oh. And uh, and uh, and someone's getting told off by a, a <laughs> member of their family as we speak. Yeah. But uh, last game Black was so much better than his opponent at spending his macro. But look at Zorkia this game. Yeah, he's not. just doing oh, so much better. There's gonna be snipe twins here as well. No transfuses in time. Oop. Nice pickup. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, Zoki is getting his fourth base, which is really good for him. It will allow him to get into that double liberator production very early in this game. Yeah. Continue his economy. Blackthor finally uh, has his speed for his overlord, so now he's gonna start using those, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh this, this might is... get caught. Yeah. Oh, uh? that's dangerous. Oh, but yeah, he's, he's doing his aggression, but there's nothing to kill here, really. There's just mules. Only yeah. five SEVs. And this push is moving across the map now, ready to kill him. Yeah, he did get five workers though, <coughs> plus the mules, so not uh, too bad. Oh, right? those bands are gonna but get caught by those widow mines on the yeah, top on the right to the third. Yep. Oh, the widow mines. He pulls back, he might get a good shot with the widow mines. But that was a good trade though from Black Sword. Like, it wasn't too bad actually. I thought it was gonna be worse. Um, but there is no reinforcements coming yeah. though, more than 10 Sterling, I just realized that this is actually a pretty bad thing. And this base is going down even with the transfuse. Yeah, indeed. 
But he does have an Ardor Fork, he could transition the drone. Oh, not into the Marines though! Oh, no. <laughs> no, this is, no, this is why I hate this it. map. The yeah. pathing is just so <laughs> stupid at every level. I just don't understand how it works. Yeah. Whatever. It's also he is over committing a bit to the Valence here again, so he doesn't have the Surlings to help clean this up. Uh, yeah. It's it's so important in this matchup to have just 10% more in army because you either crush it or you get crushed. And yeah. in this game, Black is getting crushed as opposed to doing the crushing, and he's taking a huge lead, Zokia, yeah, against yeah. him as a result of it. And there's nothing that can punish this fourth base now as it's turning into a planetary. And he's even scouts his aggression it's coming yeah, around to his third base. And there is a bunker now ready. in the third as well. Like, so they, it's o overall much better uh, from the Terran player this game. Uh, like he's just uh, more on top of his macro. He's uh, bunkering down and so on. Like it's just like it's almost a different player in some regard. We are seeing. Uh, hard to yeah. He's sniping that spire as well. With that infestation yeah. pick on, he's never going to get to hive as well. So no there's the clock ticking as three fee is uh, finishing. But. Yeah, and there's still no sign of Hive oh, starting. I don't know, Hive starting oh. here either. He just picks up, picks up his units, he just leaves all the time. Yeah. It's very good control by the Terran player. Oh, so this, he there was seven SVs well. going down like in the back of this though, uh, in the third. He did uh, bust down the bunker there, but there was a lot of painless committed to that, so that furthers uh, like the supply lead of the Terran player. Army. It's uh, very difficult to macro while you're doing aggression. Like you're seeing the Terran player now, the one that's not spending his money yeah, compared no. to the Zerg, because now he's the one doing aggression more so. But here comes the push, and there's not a lot of units there, so he gets some. Is it going to be a split? How the split? Oh, he's going to kill everything! Yeah, that was a trade of mines. Very good trade well. there, there by the Terran. He's not doing but the split at all. He did lose his forever. fourth though. Uh, in the meanwhile, there because there was more uh, army over there. And this is stuff that's gonna pick up. But yeah, that, that hive on the way, that'd be so much better position for him, but the yeah, increase now done, so the next push is gonna be so hard. Alright, drama dreamers. Indeed, indeed. I know. Uh, in in and, and out of the game. game yeah, indeed, indeed. Very good game. <laughs> The sound of my little brother were running around now. He's very excited. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'd be excited if I was around you as well. Did I? Of course, yeah. I'm the fun, the, I'm a fun, loving brother, isn't it? Indeed, yeah. Well, he's trying to restart this fire. Oh, I'm not sure. He's going down he's reach out this uh, game. Sure. I think that's a final push right there by the town. I think yeah. that's gonna be. A, this could be the game over for the. Oh, oh, splitting that's well at all. No. There's no splitting whatsoever there. I think that's the final push right there by the player. Yeah. Although there is uh, quite a lot of damage in the third. He's oh, doing the splits are good. Yeah, don't worry. And the supplies are evened up, surprisingly. Yeah, the next uh, wave of pain is here, but they are too late though. So... Oh, 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 no, no, no they don't. They focus fire then. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, and there was a huge counter attack on the third base while we oh, were watching. Oh, yeah, he took, actually took out the third base even. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so that's like 40 SVs uh, going down. Yeah. So Hive's on the way now, so oh, Terran can still have another push before 3-3 is finished for the Zerg player, but until then, the Zerg is doing quite well for himself, I think, considering the economy's not doing very well at all for the Terran player, and he has 11 SEVs mining at the moment on those mineral patches. Yeah, I'm trying to transfer now. Yes, I think Black could very much win this game if the Terran doesn't push soon. Exactly. And try oh, and get I some more damage in. He still doesn't know about that uh, sixth base to the south no way, no of the way. map as well, which is freely mining, which is a huge deal in these situations. And his Ling is coming again for a counter attack. Yeah, indeed. And uh, he keeps keeps dropping relentlessly, and it's not going to do anything as his units are already here. Yeah, and this is really nice as well with this combo. Oh, the, oh, the Wither Mine wasn't actually borrowed. Uh, it might do more damage to the Marines than the yeah. Zergans. Oh, maybe not. Alright, he's moving in here. In. Uh, he's gonna lose a lot of marines there for not doing that though. Nice clean up there from Black Sword. Um, um, so yeah, um, you can see the supplies has actually equal off 
uh, in army. Um, Fluxor is still yeah. quite ahead in uh, drones. We'll start getting into those ultra soon, and he got a huge uh, gas bank, so he will be able to support them as well. Um, yeah. Like I was saying um, earlier, how the best way to do counterattacks is when the enemy has moved out of his base and is actually attacking you. And Black tried this whole game to do counterattacks and got nowhere with them. And then in that one push, he yeah. managed to do more damage than all the counterattacks put combined so, because he was distracted and fighting. So these are not going to do anything because he's not distracted at the moment because he's got nothing else to focus on but clearing these up. Get some more silence in there, but now the uh, well previous third base uh, is actually planetary, so it's going to yep. be hard to. Uh, and he's break pushing there. across the map. This yeah. is basically the last push before Ultras, so this is the maximum damage he can get put in before he yeah. needs to turtle so, uh, and start making liberators. And he's being it, very timid with this, and the Banes are coming around for a flank, which yeah, is really I good. Know, or is it a counter attack? No. Oh no, he should have uh, blinked. Oh, they're coming back. No, they're coming back, alright. They're a bit too late though. The Wooded Mines go off on nothing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, this is gonna be brilliant. This is this gonna, is be, gonna so be so huge brilliant. Around. This is gonna be. Oh, it's not actually oh. going in the back. Where are they going? Oh. But yeah, uh, that was very nicely done, though, still. It, it did yeah. deny the aggression, and the Ultras will be coming out now. Uh, so. Yeah. It bought the time, and now Ultrasks are out, and 3 3 is halfway done now. Oh, those Banelings might blow up on the Widow Mine. <laughs> They're not careful! Oh my ah! god, that's so many going down. But at the same time, the Ultras are coming out now. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a Kaiden yet, but still. Uh, this is just. Oh, they trade their mines! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But there is I a... don't think you should be attacking no, in no, here, no, though. Not, this is a bit ambitious. Oh yeah. Oh, the ba the is go right into the Marauders as well. Yeah, and there this is, is such a hard position to push into. The Kaiden didn't finish up though, but... He wasn't... Uh, enough to turn Tyler on the side. It's so hard go. to attack into that position as a Zerg player. There's, I won many games with Mech, just they threw the game trying to attack up that hill yeah. the planetary sitting there. So, uh, yeah, that's not I think the Zerg just needs no, to turn a lot. Yeah, not in this but game, yeah. but yeah. it should be. But the Terran is equalizing in supply and making uh, liberators, but Ultras are out now, so his tech is far superior. To the yeah. Terrans. Oh, he needs All to get in. Otherwise, exposed. oh, oh, three, three isn't done yet. This is not the best time to fight. No, that's true. But he needed to protect the Banelings. He can back off now, though. Uh, he didn't continue to engage. Yep, nice. Because that bought him. But, but there wasn't that many yeah. Banelings still left. So he should have gained earlier, I guess. But yeah, it's a really Not close game way. overall. Like, uh, but it's free free out now for uh, the side play, so it will be an equal fight here. Uh, yeah, this is what's uh, so hard with the Terran. You can't attack into the Zerg because they just run past the Liberators and they just don't care yeah. about them, and they have to retreat to the same position again uphill. With the He's going very Marauder heavily, uh, which is actually dealing with this very well because the Banelings aren't trading yeah. as efficiently as they should be doing. Oh, uh, so this Black might Thrones. be a bit of a throw by Blackstone. Probably extension. Yeah. Um, you really need infestors with this composition. Like, uh, you have to yeah. lock down the bio so it can't count, otherwise they can just oh. micro forever. Well, he's got an infestation uh, kit already. I'm not sure what he's waiting for right there. There we go. They're infestors. Yeah, yeah. Really someone realized. messaged him he privately. Heard you. He heard <laughs> you. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, but like, this is like a bit too late though, uh, in some regard, because like he threw away the army. Uh, he doesn't really he have shouldn't... The... Yeah, he shouldn't fight here. He should just run away. There's no reason yeah. to defend this base. He just expanded to the top as well. There's no reason yeah, to, so. to push into him. Yeah, yeah, Corruptors really are on the way as well. well. Yeah, he needs to be oh, going for it anyway. Uh, I don't agree on this, but he can take he us the Liberators the against with the... Uh, yeah, I guess yeah. it was a decent fight in the end. Uh, the Terran didn't have as much as I thought he would. He must have been stacking a bit at home on the production. Yeah. The Liberators are taken out, but the Ultras take a lot of damage as well, so the supplies yeah. remain even. And the Terran oh. is seeping ahead in main regards. Oh, investor, so nice. Good. Pull them back. Uh, there should be more than one investor though. We built three, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's uh, someone. Where are they? Yeah. But yeah, this base down to the south still hasn't been 
accounted for and that's really keeping him in this game so far yeah. the economy's only the same because of that base if it wasn't for that he'd just be so far behind and the Terran is going to have to push soon because he has to expand to a new resource location which is the hardest <laughs> part of Terran here because after that you've got the fifth base on this map like where do you go there's another drop coming in to the fifth base yeah but uh it's so hard to expand past this point so Zokia would rather just end the game than try and defend so many locations on such a wide Oh open no, map. investor! No! Investor! Run! Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. They lived a good long life. But there's no reason to fight here. He shouldn't be pushing uphill into a base that's already dead. When his resources oh, are somewhere no. else. But this here he goes. Wiped out. He doesn't have it. He could have actors. actually killed all the liberators because there is basically no marines left. Um, no. Yeah. yeah, there's no anti air. But I think like Blackstar at this point is a bit nervous, or uh, or maybe not. But he's not producing at least. So I don't know. It, he should have been producing a lot of starlings to actually try and take that out. Yeah. But well, this is a very close uh, game, but uh, he's sort of thrown it here. There's really nothing you can do. He's threatened this position here. Uh -huh. The corruptors are trying to take out these liberators, but look at the supply. He's 50 supply up in army, so yeah, he's going to take out this base the and then go to like the economy the as the well. The Terran's economy is in the garters as well. So like, he was just so far ahead that he just needed to take a bit worse, uh, less worse fights. He's producing a ton of yeah. servings right now, though, so he will be able to get back into it even if he loses a ton of drones here. He wants straight up. I die. don't think he's upgraded the servings though. He doesn't have adrenal guns, does he? So they're not doing yeah. as much damage as they would do at this stage the, of the game. Yeah, that's true. But look, he will clean oh, all this up like, relatively efficiently yeah. since there's no marines. Uh, no marines. So, yeah, but still, what a game it is. What yeah, a final indeed. game we're having here. Yeah. 24, 24th minute mark right here. The both players were a little bit nervous from the start, but it's a, it's a terrific game so far. Yeah, there is we're a lot of more. like reinforcements from the Terran player though. Um, <laughs> So it might be hard to deal with, especially since there are so the, many marines. I don't know how to describe this game. If a black had kept that base alive, he'd be in such a good position because the Terran can't really move out. There's no medevacs yeah. in this army, so every time he stems, he's going to kill himself. All these Vikings are going to do nothing against yeah. the corruptors. There's and a big uh, thing, though, he that still there hasn't is taken no, a new base. There is no creep anymore, uh, basically. Like, yeah. Oh, the. He should have, he should have run oh, away. Oh, the Widowmine. Widowmine is going to take out the Lost Bainlings, and that's going to be basically yeah. finished oh. in this game. Oh, uh. never mind. That was some bike carrying from the turn play. Uh, but uh, yeah, oh, he should just stim and run off because there's nothing he can do if he just runs away from the stim. Every time he stims, yeah. he's going to kill himself. There's no way he can push across the map. But there's no income for the Zerg, so he's going to lose this game yeah. in the end if he never no. takes that base again. Yeah, there's there should be like drones just idle somewhere, right? Because the long distance mining. Uh there there is sixteen on an unsaturated base basically. Uh some long distance mining like you're saying. Um Yeah, this is just Yeah. Like it was just some smaller decision there that could have been better from Blackthorn and this would have like been his game without a doubt. Yeah. Um, he had the only way the Terran could win was to win that fight there, yeah. because uh, there's no reason for the Zerg to fight. Because the only reason, the only thing he cares about is the nice base that's now coming down. Because yeah. without that base, the, the income would have dried up and the Zerg would have won this game. But uh, now the Zerg has no money for himself, and, uh, and he's just going to sit here, out long distance mining. Tom, uh, Marie Marauder. But I still like this never never say die attitude from Black Sword right there. He's still not tapping out. <laughs> if he yeah, fungled yeah. everything, he might win. But he doesn't have Where's any the investors, investors left, right? He lost them all. Never mind. Yeah. He lost them all. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Yeah. And even he if he trades really too. good with Ultras there, like, it won't be enough in the end. I mean, like, there is two more Ultras on the way, but like... Well, I guess if he overstims... I don't think that'll be enough. Like... Everything might get one-shotted by limbs, maybe. Yeah... Uh... There's still technically no money here, he just took that base to the south. But if he if he had expanded straight away, five minutes ago, he yeah. would have recovered by now and had some units. But, but... this this runway, though, is going to be devastating for Blackstar. It's going to take out the lost economy of uh, Blackstar. Lost mining base. I think yeah. that's, that's going to be GG right here. 
tower. Drones are trying to run away, but they won't be able to. Uh, so yeah, it's just a shame. One traitor drone survived. <laughs> Was there one? Oh, he's coming back for revenge. <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, indeed. But uh, yeah, there was no reason for for Black to fight there, unfortunately. And yeah. That's it. Oh, he's going to clear this up because there's no medevacs, as, yeah. we, as we were saying. But, but there is as... double the amount of supply coming behind it, though. So. Yeah, look at the income. It's 55 versus 1,000. It's been like that for seven minutes. Yeah. He should have just re-expanded with his 300 minerals. Every ultra oh, he, he should... built could be an expansion. Oh, he shouldn't be engaging, though. He should use bait out of the stims. You should realize there is only two yeah. medevacs. Like, because Fight if he overstims more, like, the ultras are just gonna go in there and just one shot marines and yeah. marauders. He's making but five yeah. attacks now at a time. He's he just lost his two errors. most drones in uh, that attack, like, on the south. So, like, even if the economy is in, in the garter base of a turn as well, it's still like 40 SVs mining compared to the 12 drones uh, in Blacksword. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. He should have expanded. We, I just, I've said this for the last eight minutes. Yeah, but it remains true exactly. that he should have expanded instantly because there's no hope if you don't expand after you lost your economy. He could have double expanded after that attack and he never would have got punished because he only attacked again after five minutes of waiting. Oh. But there we are. We will sit here and wait for Zokia to get the memo that he's <laughs> dead and kill him. Yeah. But yeah, this base isn't really, like, it doesn't matter, <laughs> like, that's okay, just attack it. But, yeah, it's just a shame. Oh, I found Grimace or Shark, I think, in a different position of the map. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, he, he has started to build up that many account again, so, uh, yeah, at this point, like, it's just... I guess we can hope for a, a stupidly good fungal that might one <laughs> yeah, for everything. Yeah, that one investor... Uh, that's already out, and then one coming He's selecting out. selecting it. Uh... But he doesn't have enough energy, right? He doesn't have to get the... He does now. Oh, he's he bleeding there. That's gonna but be yeah, it. That's gonna be GG. Well tried though, by Black Sword. Um, a good time war overall. Like, some really nice games in your own. So, yeah. We'll probably see Black Sword tap out here in just a minute when he sees the incoming troops there on the uh, last base as well. His last base? Is he dying? Well, he's dying. In real life? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Slowly withering away his computer. He might, he might just computer. be progress uh, processing the loss of it here because he, he probably realized if yeah. I didn't take that earlier fight, like I would have won this so easily. He's um, still uh, looking around the map and looking at his stuff, stuff dying. Yeah. And our uh, opponent's caster did just tap out. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, at this point I'm not sure like, why Blacksword is still in the game. He could just tap out. Oh, He's the man removed came in there. He just wants to fungal once and kill him. <laughs> yeah. That's all he wants. Yeah, yeah, maybe he just wanted to do it for the entertainment while he... <laughs> uh, what is it you need? 50 or maybe? Or... Uh, 75. Oh, he's 75. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that well, the best ever fungal. But yeah, uh, we'll see. That's sort of tough, no. I guess in, in some ways, uh, Black never really deserved to win in the first place because he was behind from the get go, yeah, but he true. almost brought it back. Yeah, indeed. To our indeed. surprise. But yeah, GG well played to your opponents. Uh, it was really nice games uh, overall. Um, thanks for joining me, Captain, Peter, and Dance Ball. Um, yeah, we'll end it off there basically. Um, you guys want to say something before we go off? or? I will... Hi. <laughs> bye bye. I will. I will speak on behalf of Didar <laughs> as he's been told off.
if he's not coming to eat dinner at the table like a good boy <laughs> yeah. but uh so yes as did i would say i'm sure he would say uh, that he loves you dreamers and that he thinks you're the best Indeed. and that Indeed. you bo suck as a clan and they're probably stream sniping and that's probably true <laughs> let's that's not get said. any such accusation though but yeah gg will play we'll be back tomorrow with the uh, master clan war uh, in the same league but with yeah the master league instead of the diamond so feel free to tune in for that and we'll see you then hopefully uh it will be someone else casting though so it might not be on top TV. we will see uh who casts but yeah we'll, we'll see you with that we'll end it and see you